よ。What's up? Welcome back to another one. Um, continuing our stream here today. Just knocked out the uh, 1989 mini figure scale Batwing. Um, rolled that up on the small set dice last week. Very cool. Um, and today we're starting this behemoth down here. You can see um, we got ourselves all set up here to uh, actually... That's good. Okay. Um, so we're all set up here. You can see the instructions on the monitor. Um, this is a monster set uh, that we got through Blue Bricks here. Let's get our music going here. I think we're on another, another page. Alright, um, so yeah, this uh, is going to be crazy. Uh, this is a one of four PDF with 300 pages. So 1,200 pages of PDF instructions. We got... What are we going on here? We froze it. We broke it. That's cool. There we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll let that think about it for itself for a second. Matter of fact, let's just refresh this. Maybe that'll be better. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look here. Uh, the box for this is, uh, this, so good thing I've been working out recently. This is, uh, quite heavy and, uh, is what we're going to get started on today. Um, man, there we go. Okay. So note to self, don't mess with the sidebar here. We're just going to scroll down. Okay, so let's take a look here. We're going to be building this crazy lighthouse. This is almost 7,000 pieces. This is uh, going to be awesome. There is uh, expansions to this that are also like 7,000 pieces. So this thing could potentially, you know, get out of control huge. Um, but we're starting uh, with this today. Um... So here we go. We got a uh, table of contents here. Lots of uh, steps here. Looks like uh, 1,772 steps. Um, this is a Blue Bricks uh, exclusive technique down here. These little uh, studs, this tool, you pop them on here. You pop it into your tile. Now your tile has studs on the bottom. Uh, works on plates too. Um, you can connect two plates together this way. Uh, very interesting. Um, let's see. Abbreviations DB Dunkel Brown, Dark Brown, FS Silver, Flat Silver, PG Pearl Gold, and NL is Length. Okay, so that's a little key um, when we're looking at our uh, colors there. Numbered bags. Only eight. Okay. That's that's okay. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Um, because, yeah, some of the... Most of the Blue Bricks things we bought have not had numbered bags. Um, overview sticker sheet. Is there a sticker sheet in here? 
and we'll find out. But this tells us what the numbers are for. Um, so bag number one is this base right here. So, yeah, we're going to get into it in just a second here. Let's open this up and see here. Um, here. Um, I'm going to guess this looks like the colors of the base. Oh, there's our sticker sheet. Oops. This is crazy, you guys. There's our sticker sheet. Official stickers. Alright, that's cool. Don't have to bother printing them like we did for the Rossi. So, uh, let's see here. Two. Two, two, one. All right, so this is gonna be, so there's numbered bags in a sense. Um, but this is gonna be truly wild. I mean, this is one through eight, yeah, okay. So the numbered bags that we were hoping for are a little, that was a little ambitious. Alright, we're gonna try to just get into it here. We need more, we need more trays is what we need. We're gonna need more trays for this. So before next week, I'm going to need to try to go thrifting uh, for additional trays. That's what we're going to need to try to do. Okay, so we're going to set beautiful. The blue bricks, brick quality is really high. One, one. Open up these bags as it seems like you need them. So the first one is going to be this. One, two, eight. This one's reclosable at least. Alright, so there we go. We're in business. See? Easy. Step number one. Complete. Step number two. Let's just do it like this. We'll see. Certainly still better than just all of them being loose. I mean, that's that's for sure. No matter how difficult this is, we just gotta remember there is a more difficult version. Easy, centered. Yep. A lot of studs to the principles here. Not even close to being the final footprint of this. Two of these. Alright. 
we got here? Two by six. There are those in here. I see two by six dark blue. Could be in here. These all seem like bigger plates. Yeah, these are all bigger plates. So not that. These are all too small. I see 2 by 8 in here. Maybe there's more. is now our small pieces. So we'll move those over there. Move out some of this. Some but not all. So I'm just gonna respond to a word question here. Currently, alright. Different sizes here. Two, five, ten, five, ten, thirteen. Is that right? Two, three, five, ten, thirteen, thirteen. So these. Gurus. Okay. And some of these. And thankfully, there seems to be a lot of piece repetition, like just dumping out part of this bag, and I've already got like a huge chunk of, you know, what I'm using here two of these, so we are going to build these concurrently here. So, there's that one. And same on this guy. Exactly mirrored. Right. 
So we're just building basically a giant frame here. Like many of these huge sets, this is the basis of the structural integrity of the base. It comes from this. Okay, long buttons. Might you be also in here? That's great. Of course, there are different sizes. What do we got here? Ten. Ten. Fourteen. Okay, so yeah, shorter. Pretty good. On the underside here. build this all on camera. I mean, this is going to be, we're going to have to get real creative with our uh, camera usage here, I think. All right, two of these, so probably, so this is probably about the size, this square. Eh, maybe it won't be so bad. Let's see. Two by eights. Those are in here, right? Here, two of this also. Some more super long V's. This is just one of the things that Blue Bricks has where it's like um, super massive um, structure uh, that you buy multiple sets in order to gain access to like the full scope of it. They've got a castle, the castle blue stone that is uh, the same. It's, also looks awesome. Need more. Need more of these. One more. Lots of two by two. Left. There's one. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna mirror it here. Um, 
crazy on ourselves in terms of the spacing, this counting this way. Okay. like it should be three studs left on it. Each side of this. Yep, so this is the right size. This one of course has four studs left on each side because it's shorter. Oh, we're almost done with this bag. scary and intimidating. The size of this thing is gonna be crazy. I mean, eh, don't buy a 7,000 piece set if you don't want it to be big. I have no idea where the hell I'm gonna put this thing in my house either. Not even a little bit of an idea. I mean, it's, you know, we'll check the date hall for size, but like, I mean, this is just the framework of the just the base. I mean, you know, it's all right. We flip this. Start putting some supports here. So this isn't even really going to be the bottom then, is it? Because unless it's going to be slippery on the bottom from having these uh, guys holding everything together here. Maybe it will just be a little slippery on the bottom. Less likely to scratch whatever table you put it on if it has all this on the bottom, I guess. That's a plus. I like that we haven't had to open that many of these bags yet. They're, although the numbered bags are like, you know, it's only broken down into eight but even the sub bags are like kind of laid out in a way, so far at least. We'll see how well that holds up when we get to the more detail areas. This is just a super structure. Okay. So this is where we're gonna have everything visible. Six of these. One. Why isn't this flat? Oh yeah, of course, because of those things we just put on the bottom. Oh, that makes it so much more awkward to build, honestly. I don't really love that, but okay. Each of these colors. And we need three more bricks. One, two, three. Building up a bottom base, 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 base. Okay, and we're gonna have color indicators. That is a nice feature. Helped us immensely in building the Rossi. So we've got our primary colors, and then brown. 
Lego usually uses green as the fourth color, but this will do just fine. Okay, already setting this to the side here to work on a different structure. No problem. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, okay, so that's right. <clears throat> and we're gonna get these guys on here. Help build our structure. are probably the corners of this. Should I be building multiple of these? Doesn't say to. Alright. <clears throat> well, maybe this stuff is... <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe this stuff is a little different on all of them. Okay. 3 by 3 Yep, we got that. And a black L bracket. I see dark blue, L bracket. Talk to me. Is it in one of our unopened bags? Wouldn't shock me. Yep. Alright, another tray. Another day, another tray. This bag actually, the whole bag will fit onto a small tray, which is kind of shocking. That's, uh, that's, uh, good. We can use the help in organizing here. All right. There we go. More L brackets. A black 2x2. Two two. That, unfortunately, was in another bag. So this one... Definitely need to get more trays. More trays is going to make this process uh, functional. I mean, this is really not too bad. We're off to a pretty decent start here. Okay. So, yellow corner. There we go. Again, everything is up on these little underside brackets, so you can't really just like push down. Okay, we're just setting it. Alright, well, we'll just set it aside. Just set it there. That's yellow. Got it. Same deal. Similar. But with a big or a top, uh, 6x6 instead of 4x4. This is getting the same underside, so let's just assemble this section by section here. And plates. Check. That. Why? Come on. Be a pal. Be a pal. Be a pal? Fine. What about now? Three things to hold hands with. It's very loose. Wait. I don't understand why it's like that. Okay. Well, that's a problem. That's potentially a problem. Oh. See the six by six. Blue. Okay, there's black one also. I mean, let's 
Okay, with four. What about four? What about here? That works. It's weird. I don't know why it wouldn't stay with only three. All right. This one, six by four. Okay, corner. Long, long, six by four. That was in one of these bags, right? Didn't we have, we had a couple of these. making it happen, you know, pretty good, all things considered. Okay, so all four corners a little bit different. pieces they've done a pretty good job so far of making it feasible for us here building up the uh, ocean floor here more or less stuff in some quart containers. Okay, brown sack, so now one more. And then uh, we'll start uh, connecting all this stuff up, I guess. Let this structure go from unwieldy to wieldy. Or unwieldy to unwieldy, depending. Way. 
see. Let's see. It'd be cool to finish bag number one today, but God, even an eighth of this in one sitting seems ambitious to me, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see how far we get here. No promises. No promises. But this is... I mean, there's a lot of pieces still in front of us, but we are making progress. We are. So... Gonna be red. Okay, so what's next? Some more bracket stuff. Okay, so we're still just gonna set that aside for now. We're gonna get all this stuff built as much as we can before we try to connect it. Otherwise, it's just gonna be sitting in our way, basically. Okay, so this one. So this is the right size. So, four of these. Okay. Four of these, and then we connect everything. Alright. So be it. So be it. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting here. Plenty of these. Plenty. So probably another round of this style of bracketing will probably go in after we get these initial ones in place to hold all these corners on would be my guess. Okay. Brown, red, blue. We'll do yellow first here. So, yellow, yellow, this goes here. These four, and then there's probably going to be ones on the other side here, too. So, then blue, like so. Blue, okay, not so bad. sure we're depressing everything here. Brown. Okay. Oof da. Not terrible. Uh, we'll. Yep, four more. Perfect. Perfect. Um, where even. This is trash. Here. Okay. So, trash. Trash on the floor. We'll use it later. Okay. So we're almost done with this bag. Get it going. Some more of these, 12 of them.
these assembled real quick. And this will be our base. I mean, this is the end of these, te you know, these Technic rods. Right? Maybe, maybe not. There's more of these gray pieces yet, so maybe there's another size that's in a different bag or something. I didn't even open those other bags. There could be more components to one that we haven't even seen yet, you know? Like, we haven't opened this yet, so there could be other bags that have stuff that we haven't seen yet. Which, if so, good on them for designing it in such a way that, uh, you know, you can go uh, this far without opening all the bags, at least. One one bag more or less basically completed before opening up the next ones is would be pretty nice. It at least limits the number of open bags that you're working on at one time. Alright, this is getting stronger. Still gonna need a little bit more before we... But that's fine. We've only been going 40 minutes on this video so far. Stream about an hour 50, so we definitely got a little bit longer in us here. Okay. So there we go. Whoa! Welcome in, Raiders. Holy cow. From KP? Oh my gosh. Kaz's Kingdom. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> How we doing? <laughs> yeah, welcome on in. Um... How you guys doing? I, I hope you had a great stream over there, KP. Um, thank you so much for the raid. Wow, yeah, we're, uh, you know, I was going to be getting kind of close to uh, <laughs> patchouli. Just go to uh, Pier 1 Imports if they still exist. Plenty of patchouli. The way that life can suck. There's a lot of ways that life can suck. Um, but yeah, welcome in. Um, yeah, I was uh, potentially getting close to wrapping up here, but we were, I was considering going a little over because we're in the middle of just a monster here. And uh, yeah, if you guys are... Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Boulder, yeah, I'm sure you've, uh, I'm sure you've had uh, plenty, plenty of lifetime patchouli scent. Um, yeah, that's... That's awesome. Yeah, normally I'm always streaming on weekdays, so usually you're at work, um, which, you know, I always appreciate the visits, uh, you know, even when you are muted and, and that stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely cool. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we can actually chat a little. Um, yeah, we uh, had a slightly different schedule than usual because of some requests off at work. Um so, uh, yeah, uh, we'll have, uh, you know, probably these Saturday streams from time to time. It's just, you know, managing a restaurant, it's just kind of dependent on, like, what my other employees need, because, like, I'm pretty flexible with my schedule, usually. Uh, so, yeah, what are we building here? Uh, this is a set from Blue Bricks, a German site. Uh, go back up to the top here. It's gonna look like this. Uh, Seven thousand pieces here. We're working on. Um, so uh, yeah, we do a lot. Oh, I mean, we do Lego building on this stream, as you can see, Lego and related Lego brands. Um, yeah, Blue Br Bricks has been really cool. Uh, friend of the stream, Airwolf. Uh, yeah, just under. <laughs> friend of the stream, Airwolf, uh, recommended uh, this site to us a while ago, and we built a few of their things. This is by far the largest thing we've gotten from them, though. Um, but yeah, Blue Bricks has been really, uh, really cool. Um, we've, uh, oh, did I crash it again? Oh, there 
go. This is a huge PDF. You gotta be gentle with the scrolling. Um, yeah, this is like, this is 7,000 pieces, and then there's expansion sets for this that are also around 7,000 pieces. There's one already out, and there's more forthcoming. So this is gonna like, you know, you can combine it into like a super ultra structure. But yeah, I mean, this, we're working just on the base of it, and you can see it's, I mean, this is, takes up my whole desk, basically. Um, so yeah, we're trying to, trying to get it, situated here to a point where we can feel comfortable leaving it uh, set up for the next week or so. But yeah, once again, uh, welcome in Raiders. Thank you so much again for the raid, KP. That's really awesome. You're, you've always been a huge supporter and I, I really appreciate you. Um, taking the time to, to highlight uh, the smaller streams and stuff. You do so much for this community, and uh, we definitely uh, appreciate it and appreciate you. Um, so yeah, let's keep plugging away here. I've got work in an hour and a half, so we don't you know, we don't have unlimited time here, but we'll we'll keep going for a little bit because I really want to get I really want to get to start placing some of these, oh, look at all these beautiful blues, it's very reminiscent of the color scheme of the, uh, the Starry Night here, is uh, this kind of seafloor base, gone forever. Nope, there she is! So yeah. Uh, Medusa, what have you uh, what have you uh, built from Blue Bricks? They have such an incredible variety of uh, models available. I'm I'm. It's cool to uh, to see someone else that is uh, a fan. The Great Wall of China architecture set. That's fun. Yeah, the those architecture sets are sweet. I've always um I've always been interested in uh trying out some of those, um, but I've never uh I've never actually bought any of them, I don't think, so that's awesome. You haven't built any, but your boyfriend has built some of the military sets. Yeah, they have a lot of military sets for sure. Oh, you've been to this store in Germany. That's cool. Legend of Zelda sets? Oh, I didn't know they had that. Yeah, the, bri the bricks are really good quality. Um, they're, uh... It's, it's funny to me that, like, in, uh... Oh, it's a brand? Okay. Like, a la, um... I'm blanking on the uh, an, uh, an example of another brand, but I I know what you mean. They because they stare they sell a few different uh, things like they have like some Mold King sets and stuff like that. All right, so we got a lot of these sliders on the bottom here. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, we're getting into some greebling here. Blue side. Yeah, the architecture sets, I feel like I don't see them terribly uh, often uh, represented. That is true. How are we going to do this? <laughs> I've run out of trays already. Yeah, they are cool. Um, I... Uh, yeah, and the skylines and stuff are really nice, like display pieces. They look really good on, on shelves, like in front of books and stuff like that. What am I going to put this on? Hold on one second. I got an idea here. I got an idea for these little bits. 
bits and bobs. joys of working in a kitchen yeah this is uh this has been a really cool one so far medusa i uh i've uh i've bought a few oh yeah that's gonna be perfect i built a few of their like medium sized sets before um and uh i've been long been curious about trying to build one of these like super mega sets that they sell because they have a few things like this that are ultra giganto um all right we're greebling already here um but uh yeah, this is our first uh, our first attempt at one of these like super super big boys. Okay. Um. No, that's not right. So yeah, pretty sweet so far. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I totally get it. I'm always I'm always either starving or dying of thirst after my streams. So definitely, definitely get you, get some nourishment going. Gotta, gotta take care of yourself. Who else is gonna if you don't? But yeah, thank you again so much for the raid, KP. That's really awesome. Um, I hope everyone is, uh, is having a good time that's stuck around here. Um, we're generally very laid back on our stream here. Um, yeah, I, that's, I mean, that's so kind. It's, it's, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, I, uh, hope to get to stream some more, um, on, uh, on the weekends. Uh, Sundays, potentially, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but the my schedule should be freeing up a little bit as i get back into this upcoming semester um i've got a uh, bunch of students returning for all my the uh raiders and first time viewers and stuff i'm the general manager of a pizza shop in a uh university neighborhood um in uh in town here so a lot of my schedule and stuff is based around um the students and, and their schedules and stuff like that. Let's see here. Where is this size of wing? I've got big wings. I've got medium wings. Is it you? Well, it's it's this, but mirrored. Where is the mirrored one? Here we go. Okay, yeah. So it is. It's that bag. God, everything is very spread out here. This they have a they have a a numbered bag system, but it's it's uh, not as. Um, Oh yeah, I know. We we get going pretty good. Uh yeah, I've got to work later tonight and it's going to be uh it's going to be a lot for sure. Um, you know. College age kids get hungry. Um But yeah, and we're, you know, it's kind of like in the slower part of the year right now. Slower meaning, you know, very busy instead of crazy slammed all the time. Um But uh, yeah, it it definitely it definitely pops off. Um, but the good news is that I've got a bunch of students returning from summer break soon that are going to be working um, in the upcoming semester. So 
it's like, it'll be like I hired four new people, except they already are good at their jobs, and I <laughs> get them all at the same time. So, uh, you know, that will be good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've got a couple uh, interviews set, set up, so hopefully, uh, yeah, I should have a little bit more flexibility with my ability to, to stream and stuff here. Okay, so this goes right here. Yeah, so we're already getting into some detail work. Kind of build up this uh, seabed here around the outside of the base. Let's see, bricks, huh? Where are the bricks? Okay, there's some in here. That's good. I keep... I'm having a little bit of anxiety that I'm going to find out that there's other parts to bag number one. Because I don't know if you can see behind me on my bed there, there's three massive uh, plastic bags full of uh, of other stuff. Um, I think all of what I have in front of me is everything for, for bag number one, but I am by no means positive. Um, and uh, yeah, it's already kind of overwhelming with the amount of open bags and like unsorted stuff I've got going on at once here. They do a lot more um, they do a lot more uh, pieces at a time with these uh, than Lego does. Let's see. Dark blue 2 by one Okay, those are in here. You kind of just got to learn like the rhythm of um, of where the pieces are. Uh, we do have a tip jar. Uh, they, people don't use much cash anymore, um, with the exception of, uh, uh, yeah, most of our tips are on credit cards. Like, most of our payment is on credit cards. We do a lot of takeout and online ordering, um, especially in the summer. Uh, during the... Uh, the main exception to that is when there's big events like the state track and field tournament or uh, Drake Relays, which is like another like interstate um, college and high school aged um, track and field tournament that happens at, at Drake University. That kind of stuff, uh, there tends to be more just like parents give their kids a $20 bill and then just kind of say, like, all right, uh, go for it. And then we tend to get more cash tips, you know, when there's people with cash in hand for those events. How does that work for taxes? Well, uh, we have, like, estimated uh, tax payments um, that are kind of extrapolated from the credit card to cash ratio, if that makes sense. It's a little confusing. Um, I still don't run the main payroll. That's one of the owners does that. Uh, I do do like a spreadsheet that uh, distributes out the credit tips to people that worked, uh, weighted based on like which shifts they work and um, the amount of hours. Uh, where is this guy? Those are in here too. Okay. Um, and then I just tender that to the owners. Um, but it's such a small part of the tips that we get that I don't even know how much of it um, ends up getting reported, honestly. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the IRS doesn't bust me for saying that. But, yeah, a lot of it is, um, is credit, and that all gets reported. That's, like, the huge majority of our interaction, of our uh, payments, are credit. Every once in a while, someone will pay with a card and, like, oh, that does not go there. Ooh, confusing myself. Okay, this is a two better one. Um, 
but yeah, for the most part, it's all credit. Saw, so, especially since uh, uh, the pandemic, that was like, um, that was the beginning of a massive downturn in people using cash, and it never really, like, it kind of swung back from when, you know, Like, we never went fully cashless, but uh, it was just kind of the prevailing, like, so many places were that I think people just got in the habit of not carrying cash, and now it's just kind of like that, um, here in Iowa, at least. Yeah, less contact, I mean, you know, money is dirty, right? Like, it's... Money is just kind of inherently dirty, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I still uh, I still try to carry a little bit of cash on me, just because every once in a while you need it for things. Um, but uh, I I use my card for pretty much everything too, so I certainly don't fault other people for doing that. Yellow signs us here. This is fun getting to do a little bit of this detail work. Sometimes on big sets like this, it can be kind of a drag when you're just going so hard on. Oops, I put that on the wrong. Going so hard on building like the framework um, can get a little. Uh, repetitive, but we're getting to do a little bit of uh, detail work here from the jump, which is pretty fun. You can see how this is going to end up being 7,000 pieces, though. I mean, there's a lot of detail even on stuff like this base here. Yeah, no, yeah, I, especially in large quantities. Um, it's funny, because food is kind of the same way. It's like, I love mayonnaise on like a sandwich right like when i make a sandwich i'm like i want mayonnaise on that but when you open like a gallon a gallon of mayonnaise it's all of a sudden it's like uh, maybe this is not so great but yeah i can imagine i can imagine cash being the same way i mean you know it's like strip clubs exist and like people snort drugs with <laughs> rolled up bills. I mean, like, you know, in addition to just the number of hands that it passes through and stuff, the, like, the kind of base level grossness of money, there's also, like, higher end gross things that go on as well. brother. There we go. Weird one. Yeah. Working in a bank seems tough. I've got a pretty good rapport with the, uh, the bank that we use is like right across the street from the pizza shop, so I'm in there like twice a week getting uh, change and stuff like that. And um, man, some of the uh, some of the customers I've seen going off on them is pretty wild. Like, you know, customer service is always challenging, but it's like people can get so much more heated about money issues, which makes sense. I mean, I you know. I'm not saying I don't understand that. Certainly I do. But, you know, people working at just like a, a like a bank branch are seldom going to be like really the people in charge of of that kind of stuff and like they I have heard some vile things said just in the like, you know, happenstance of stopping by. Seems, seems like a difficult job. 
various forms of customer service have their different things that are challenging. Um, right. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Plopping down a whole chunk like that. Um, you know, food service, retail, yada yada, they all have like their own little, they have their own challenges. Um, but yeah, bank working stuff seems, seems like it could be tough. Never done that one. I've never, I've never worked retail either. I've, I've been working food jobs for so long. It is literally my bread and butter. That's another thing too, is I'm sure you get, you know, you get people trying to game this system like that. That's like, because it always comes at the cost of someone else, right? Like if you're making money abusing the systems in place at a bank, it's costing someone else money. So People always try to find ways to uh, get a leg up, like some of them are fairly harmless and then like I said sometimes it's like yeah it's coming at the cost of someone else. That's not really cool. It's not really cool. Oops. sizes of similar things. I think we have room to dump out more of this. There we go. That's what we need. Oh, robberies, yeah. I managed to miss every robbery, but some of those stories are hilarious. One time a teller received a robbery note, sighed, and just walked away. The robber didn't know what to do. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of, like... Uh, stick-ups and stuff like that is they're really relying on the panic and uh, you know fear of of the people working to uh, to uh, make the bus kind of drive itself. Well, that's good that you missed the robberies. I mean, like, you know, I'm sure that... I'm sure you get some funny stories out of them, too, but I imagine that can also be very scary in the moment. I remember, um... Uh, one of my friends, uh, when he was working as a delivery driver at Jimmy John's, the Jimmy John's that he was working at got robbed while he was on a delivery. And they, uh... The robber, like, waved a gun around told everyone to get down on the floor, uh, had, you know, had someone pop the register for him and then had everyone get down on the floor, basically. And, like, you know, then he left, and my buddy got back from the delivery that he was on and was just like, why are you guys all on the floor? Because, like, the robber was gone, all the customers left. 
And they were just lying there. You know, the robber told them not to get up. You know, I don't know. It's like a trope. They do the same thing in, like, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, what's that movie? Raising Arizona. You know, count to whatever before you get up. These four by one bricks. I don't know. That's a two by two. Yeah, in here. Yeah. There we go. Um so yeah, he he got back from the delivery and uh yeah. Yeah, Raising Arizona is a good one, for sure. I'm, uh, I'm a huge, uh, Nick Cage fan and a, uh, huge Coen Brothers fan, too, so it's kind of match made in heaven for me. I, uh, was doing for a long time a, uh, a podcast about Nick Cage with some buddies of mine. We haven't released any new episodes in a long time. Just get too caught up with other projects to stay on top of everything I want to do. Um, but yeah, Raising Arizona, really good one. Great, great uh, Nick Cage performance in that one. Um, Holly Hunter, I believe is her name, the, uh, uh, the wife, his wife, oh man, she's hilarious in that movie. Okay, three by one, I think I saw that in here, so, yeah, cool. It's right here. This is, this is going to be cool. I'm really excited about this set. What do we, what do we got in here? These. Gnome Scoobser? Scoobser? Welcome in. I love the blue bl blue bricks. It's kind of a tongue twister. I love the blue blue bricks lighthouse. Saw it before at the blue brick store in Germany. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Welcome in. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You gotta you gotta respect the uh, integrity of the account. You know. Well, that's cool. Welcome in. Um, yeah, it's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, we I. Uh, never been to one of the brick and mortar stores i did visit uh germany last like a year and a half ago uh went with to berlin and uh then later prague not germany obviously but berlin and prague was our trip uh with some friends of mine um it was really cool uh definitely enjoyed it Are you guys, uh, are you guys German, or do you live in a different, uh, EU country or whatever? Since the 90s. Wow. Yeah, I imagine it's, it's probably changed a lot since then. I mean, everywhere has. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah, Germany was really beautiful. I uh, I enjoyed it. Berlin was, uh, I mean, other one. Oops. Uh, yeah, Berlin was really cool. I. Uh, oh my God. He's all the same. There we go. Uh, yeah, Berlin was definitely cool. It was uh, it was kind of shocking, almost how similar it was to an American uh, city. Oh, that's cool. You guys go back and forth then? That is a long distance. I've never been in a long distance relationship. That is particularly long. But that's cool. I mean, love knows no borders. We don't need stupid things like nationalism getting in the way of romance. So that's very cool. Hope you're having a good time in the U.S. Um, 
Yeah, Berlin, uh, yeah, Berlin was cool. It was very, I mean, you know, the city life, like, I feel like the rural-urban divide is, like, almost, uh, you know, more noticeable than, like, the difference in, like, uh, nationality. Like, obviously there were differences with that, too, but... You know, getting outside of uh, the uh, city would have been cool. I think if we go back to Germany, we'll try to go to uh, uh, one, you know, a smaller town too. Yeah, <laughs> it is really big. Yeah. <laughs> well. That's valid. I mean, hey, no, no, uh, no, your limits. I, uh, yeah, Berlin was, it was a lot, definitely. Um, I, uh, I live in Des Moines, Iowa, which is a, you know, it's a city, but it's not, it's not particularly very big. And, uh, yeah, I, I kind of feel the same way about, like, very large cities can be, can be very overwhelming. Um, like, I go to uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, a decent amount, um, which is a bigger city than here, but it's not too crazy. Uh, but then, like when I go to Chicago for like concerts and stuff, I'm usually a little overwhelmed in places like that. I didn't go to Berlin. I bet there were some really cool aspects of it. My favorite place was Heidelberg. Heidelberg, I've not heard of. That sounds cool, though. I would definitely... I mean, yeah, I, if if we end up going back there, um, I definitely want to check out some smaller uh, places, too. Even just medium-sized cities, I bet, probably have a different feel to them. Um, I thought the coolest thing about... Uh, Berlin was the there was just street art everywhere like every building was covered in stuff and it was like you know ranged from like yeah there was stuff where there was just like goofy graffiti that's kind of like you know why like why you just write your name on a bunch of stuff like whatever um airwolf welcome in we're uh we're just talking about uh Germany right now actually. So right in your wheelhouse. So we're going on the blue bricks uh lighthouse here. Frankfurt. I have heard of that. Yeah, Germany's Germany's pretty big for for a European country. It's, There can actually be some pretty decently large distances between places. Yeah, we were talking about the Blue Bricks store earlier. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's the one. It'd be fun to visit someday. I mean, I don't mind getting stuff shipped to me, but it'd be cool to visit. We had so uh, little luggage with us that it was like, even if we would have visited a Blue Brick store, probably wouldn't have been able to buy anything really big. Um, just wouldn't have had space. You know, better to just ship it back, basically. It, it definitely was. Like, no, I, I wicked appreciate it. I mentioned to you earlier uh, when... Uh, when uh, these cats showed up in the raid, credit where credit is due. Um, yeah, no, it's it, it was a very good tip. I really enjoyed uh, the sets that I built uh, from here. Got this. Can't seem to see where my one by three black tile will be coming from. Maybe here. No. Having art everywhere is awesome. I also love when architecture is really interesting. 
Who knows what headaches the laws are, but as a visitor, it's super cool. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that it, it was it was cool to see all that stuff. Definitely, the art was awesome. Prague was uh, cool for architecture. There, I mean, the like Prague has like uh, you know a bit of like a tourist trappy feel to it, but it was still like all the buildings are you know super old and stuff. That was cool to see. Like, Europe just has so much more history just baked into every street, you know, than than America does. Like, especially in the Midwest. I mean, even all the old stuff here just gets built over, basically. Like. We did go, uh, my partner and I went to, uh, Dubuque, Iowa recently, which was, uh, that was pretty cool. That's an older, uh, city. A lot of the downtown there has survived, um, uh, change because since it's a smaller town, it's like they have less economic incentive to, like, just tear stuff down and build a new version of it or whatever. Yeah, we didn't get to any castles uh, in in Germany, uh, and uh, yeah, we had a plan to go to a castle in uh, Prague, but it ended up we ended up running out of time. Um, I am bummed about that. We did go to uh, the Sedlec uh, Ossuary. That was fucking crazy. That was very cool. Um, so at least got to see like one super old structure. Yeah, in that's an yeah. I've never heard that saying before. To it, to an American, a hundred years is a long time. To a European, a hundred miles is far. Yeah, yeah, Prague's not Germany, for sure. That's just, like, that trip to me is, like, that's that's the only time I've ever been in Europe, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, you're right. The ossuary was in uh, the Czech Republic. I got that mixed up in my head. You right, you right. Yeah, in... Germany, yeah, we were just in Berlin, I think. And then we did take a... We took a train to Prague, so we went, like, through the German countryside. But, I mean, we didn't stop or anything. You know, it was a train ride. We're just looking out a window, basically. That's cool. Oh, man, 310. Man, oh, I gotta wrap up here soon. Okay. We're so close. There's, like, a whole other side. I'm gonna try to finish this, like, ridge. And then, uh... Then I gotta get going. I really appreciate everyone uh, hanging with me here, but I do gotta go to work uh, before too much longer here. Gotta get dressed and everything yet. But yeah, it's been fun chatting and stuff. Um, yeah, that was a fun trip. We kind of picked... Uh, uh, Germany and the Czech Republic just kind of at random when we were planning our trip. Not like random, random. You know, it's not like we like roll a die or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, we were just like, well, I don't know. I've never been to Europe. Many of us had never been to Europe before, so we were just like, anywhere would be cool, basically. An Easter egg? I look forward to finding it. I w hopefully it's something I'll understand. I love it when there's like the little Easter eggs and builds and like stuff, stuff that gets covered up and things like that. Those can be really, really cool. Like building everything one handed here, basically. 
kind of sets of the blue parts. Okay, what do you mean, like, like this? Like this? I like this. Oh, this part? Oh, my music stopped. Oh, Keeper of the Grey and Minecraft. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that... It's... Keeper of the Grey. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. They they're always add so much. Oh, maybe they have a different name in English. guys maybe oh creeper oh yeah creeper in gray that's cool well I know about creepers yeah sorry I just misread what you said my mistake um, let me see, where was I? Okay. We got this. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, we're basically building a big square right now, so... That's a, that's a good Easter egg to get in there. The way the bricks are laid out, it definitely is evocative of it. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, shared DNA uh, with Minecraft and Lego, definitely. I've never bought any of the official Minecraft sets from Lego, but it's cool. That they exist. Right. Wing here. I'm trying to keep everything on camera here. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the middle? Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. That would be fun to give it. It's Minecraft is a fun game to like. You can leave it alone for a while, and then come back to it. And uh, they make changes in it so rapidly. It feels like it's like if you don't play for like a year, or lo especially longer, it's like, what is even happening in all this stuff right now? All right, so we're into the final ridge here. I'm trying to knock this out before we get going for the day. Gotta go make pizzas for the hungry masses. But, oh, almost missed a piece here. Right here. Yep. Okay. No. There we go. 
Getting all these nice seafloor stones in here. I'm hungry too. I need to. Yeah, it definitely. And I mean, it's survived like being sold to Microsoft and like switching main development teams and all of that. Like it's. Uh, it's um, had a lot of changes and stuff, and yeah, the fact that it's still uh, like in a you know cultural touchstone, mostly for kids, but you know, still has a uh, still has an adult audience too. Pretty cool. It's a very fun game. I mean, the fact that it's so modal. You can uh, play it in so many different ways is is really cool. I mean, especially with all the mods that everyone has made for it and stuff like that. Like it's a very it's a very customizable experience, which is is really cool. I mean, obviously, as a as a Lego enthusiast, that's gonna appeal to me. You know, wow, all these layers in here. This is really cool. The level of detail here is very sweet. And even just like tucking in these little uh, guys here, very, very sweet. I'm gonna need to pick up this stuff too. Man, my cats are gonna go ballistic on this stuff if I just leave it out. That's fine, I got this. Two minutes. Yeah, that's also true. The yeah, people that have built like functional computers and stuff like that. Really cool. I mean even when I was like playing that game, that's way beyond my capability. Like I could make like doors and stuff with the, the redstone, the like wiring systems, but like oh man. Yeah, people uh People have gone so deep on that game. It's really awesome. Um, the amount of stuff that you can build is is so wild. So, so, so wild. A little section of sea floor stuff here. Show me a two by one. Not an L. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, very cool game. Very cool game and very co cool community surrounding it. And, uh, you know, the fact that the, like, YouTubers and all that, like, you know, there's, like, thriving, like, get turned around on these um yeah the like thriving youtuber community that existed around that game for a long time and i'm sure still does i think it's kind of past its like peak of like you know cats like pewdiepie were like you know the most subscribed people on youtube and stuff like that um one two Two open studs on each side. Um, yeah, very, very impressive. Black two by one, huh? Where do we think that might be? Could be over here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, down here. Yeah, the internet's ability to create these interesting little microcosms of uh, community is so interesting. Very interesting time to be alive. Alright, two by two block. And a roof slope. 
another 2x2 two two block. I only saw the one. Oh no, there we go. Right here. Kitten, did you find a box down there? Did you find a box? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there, you silly? You're goofy. Hi, kitten. Is that a box? Box for a kitten, don't they? <laughs> right back inside. <laughs> You got your cat content, Airwolf. She finally fought. Put a, put a big uh, cardboard box on the ground. She's finally interested again. Where am I at here? Blue side. Okay. Blue side. Get these roof pieces in here. Three by one and a four by one roof piece. Where is that? Ooh. A mess. Could be anywhere. Hmm. That is what I'm seeing, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. But where? Is it in here? It is not in here. Hmm. Of course, right when I need to wrap up, there would be a piece that I can't find. Classic. I could have sworn, I feel like I remember seeing it at one point. Oh, there we go. We found it. Okay. So that goes right here. That might be, might be where we wrap up today. What do we got here? Eh. Oh, this just keeps on going. Oh, there's so much more to go of this. Okay, yeah, unfortunately we are gonna have to uh we're gonna have to just wrap up. I need to get ready for work. We're on step number eighty-four we just completed. But pretty good progress. Getting started on our seat bed here. Yeah, they are very particular about it. Uh, my cats are both pretty affectionate. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, in general, they can be very unpredictable. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for walk, uh, watching, uh, sticking around from the raid and stuff like that. Uh, shouts out to KP again um, for the raid. So awesome. She's so great and does so much for the community. Um, helping find and, and elevate uh, people that are getting involved in this community and pointing them in the right direction to, uh, uh, you know, build that community. Um, you know, that's hard work. That stuff uh, takes a lot of time. Uh, so kudos to her for that. Yes, sir, Airwolf, we will be back at it. Yeah, thank you uh, for, uh, once again, turning me on to the Blue Bricks stuff. Um, this stuff is really awesome. Um, yeah, we should be should be back at it uh, next Friday, uh, our normal day. And, uh, yeah, follow on Instagram for updates. My schedule is a little fluid because of my work situation, so we try to always do Fridays, but post updates if we don't have time. Thanks for watching, everyone.